Hello, everyone. Welcome to Isekai Studios' Top 5 Guilty Pleasures shows. Uh, I am your host for this episode, SP Kuma, and joining us today, we have Johan. I'm still a champion of Isekai Studios. Sure. We'll go with that. He's got the title. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we we'll have David. Like, Hello, <laughs> SV Kuma, name that I call you every day. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, we, then we have Justin. <laughs> hey, guys. And finally, Ku. Yo, 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 yo. Uh, we are normally a weekly anime podcast uh, where we review and discuss a specific show each week. And we also have done anime quizzes so far. So feel free to check us out on our, our other shows. Uh, we have also we also have a Discord where we discuss the current season of anime airing each week. The link is in the description below. But for this episode, we decided to do a fun one. And you know what? Uh, better fun moment than five just uh, fun stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess who wants to start with number five? Mm, Johan, go, go for it. Oh wow! Oh, sorry, okay. no, no, sorry. no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going. Hey, no, we're going nowhere, right? I yeah. started top left. You, you put on Johan. <laughs> Johan, the floor is yours. 30, what 30, you number 30 five? minutes, Ren. <laughs> uh, mm, yeah. yeah, we'll get there. Number five, Monster Musume. Because <laughs> every time I want to... Classic. Every time, every time I want to watch something... There's your last, Ren. And it's like... It's like... It's like kind of nasty, but not really. Like, if someone walks in the door, it's going to be like, yo, you know me. You know, whatever. <laughs> They can see it and they won't be like, what, what the fuck's this shit, bro? But yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, you, you have your lollies, you have your 100% waifus. You have your monsters. Snake girls. You like, I, your spider I, waifus, your slime waifus, bird waifus. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know yeah. that I was. That <laughs> I, I didn't know that I was into weird ass creatures like centaurs until I watched that show and it was like the things I could fucking do. Yes. But yeah. God, it feels dirty. Man, what a start. All right. Wow. <laughs> wow. Who, do we got? Who do we got going next here, Stratton? Uh, Justin. Uh, okay. David, do you have one? Um, I, sure. Uh, the one I just thought right Ooh. away was just High School TXD. Because even though like I, talk, I, I give shit to everyone here for being degenerates, but I actually <laughs> I enjoy, not, not unironically, I actually enjoy the plot, the actual story of High School TXD, okay? I love the the angels and the demons and the dragons. I read I read mm -hmm. the uh, the light novels and in the light novels they go more in details about like the whole lore and the powers and how like how um Ipe like he gets he gets this huge like power creep with his like, dragon powers. He's like he's absorbing so many people's powers and then his special ability like powers everyone. And also like, the thing with the chess pieces too is really cool. I love like there's so much like love, like because like um the group that we're in like the each clan like has a leader and they're basically the queen and then like. So you're under that leader, and so you get like you get a knight piece, like a bishop piece. But um, uh, you say he gets he becomes a pawn. So like even though he's like he's technically the weakest, he gets you know he gets to get someone's power. So so they have like the chess Man. pieces in the in like, the powers remember. plus like his own he has, he has this thing called like his he has his own dragon power that's his own separate thing like in the lore like you had the angels versus demons, but then the dragons were their own separate. Their own separate faction that the, even the angels and demons were afraid of. So, yes, I love this lore. Okay, like even with all the hey. etchiness uh, in it, like well, hey. there's a lot of cool, <laughs> cool lore happening in there. All right. Today yeah, I learned how much lore there is. I had always just I know, right? Of <laughs> girls, this... girls with big boobs. So <laughs> make it sound really too normal. I'm learning a lot it's... so far. Yeah. Like, make it sound too right. normal. Stop it's... it. Stop it. Like... <laughs> no one criticism. No one criticism. I mean, criticism with the the story is like it is a power creep. So it powers get ridiculous, but it's a lot of fun. Okay, man. It's it's all not just edgy, so yes. It's all about the plot. Yes, that's my that's okay. my spiel on on high school TXD. Nice, right. good defense, good defense. Justin, <laughs> go for it. All right. Well, staying in the vein of high schools, my number five guilty pleasure is High School of the Dead. Um, <laughs> it's a show that Ooh. really great opening song. If nobody's had the chance to to check the show I'll out, have to but go um, check it out. In terms of the content and everything, like. It's not the greatest. It's really cliche, you know, <laughs> zombie apocalypse type scenarios. But what makes it a guilty pleasure for me is the female cast in this series is <laughs> A1. They just have yes. the assets in the <laughs> right places, we shall say. And um, one of the, the scenes that this uh, show is very iconic for um, and I won't spoil for those that haven't seen it, but all you need to know is a sniper rifle. <laughs> yep. Yes. All I'll say is sniper rifle. Hey, so I, for those that know, you know, 
And for those that don't, go check it out. Yeah, I've I'll, never watched it. I will, I, say, it. I will say on Justin's <laughs> point, like, there's very little, like, zombie, like, actual, like, zombie animes out there. So, like, it's hard. To, so, this is, like, all we get. So, like, I totally, like, I don't know. Are you really there for the zombies, though? Okay, you know? I yeah, actually yeah. was. Uh-huh. Oh, that's, yeah. That's that's right. well, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. okay. I, I oh, came sure. for the zombies because, David Point, there's not many zombie anime shows. And I was hoping, okay, this may be the time that we're going to get a good one. But then I, I really stayed true. for you know, the ensemble of characters. Ah, of yeah, course. Like, yeah. For, when for I, other reasons. When I, heard, when I heard High School, High School of the Dead, I haven't watched the show, but I have pixel by pixel memorized the sniper rifle shot. It's like, that's <laughs> right? a masterpiece. I, that's how you know you have More the like guilty pleasure show. Where I've seen that gift so many you. times. <laughs> I've seen the gift so, so many times. I Man, I, I didn't even know it was a meme until after I watched, or watched the show. So. <laughs> All right. All right. So that, that is my number five. Cool. You're number five. Man, I, I don't know how I feel, guys, because... <laughs> oh, oh, my Here goodness. Because David and uh, Justin already hit one of my... Two of my top fives, so... Ooh, I, I don't know how to man. proceed. We you just can say some it. Good just, just say it. In yeah, the house. Go for yeah. it. It's like the previous thing with top openings, you know? Just, yeah, just, uh... top openings. So, yeah, let me just get out the way then. Uh, you know, I... Uh, you know, I love High School DxD. Unfortunately, I've only seen season one because I always thought I would go back to it. But season one definitely was a lot more depth to it than you know what it what it shows. Obviously, there's a lot of etchy, a lot of fan service. <laughs> but you know, it, you know, you get you get beautiful women, you get a a, a fairly good storyline, and you know, <laughs> we, what, what's what's there to hate with with uh, with what happens? So I feel- uh, definitely not your waifu with the president. Um, I feel I feel really bad for like the for the fans who read, actually read the manga just because the guy uh, passed away. Um, so oh, they'll never oh. actually get the they'll never yeah. actually get the true ending. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, um, it was yeah he passed away a while ago. So yep. yeah, I remember reading about that, and then I actually, I never even saw the show, but I just felt bad for. I mean, you know, who doesn't feel bad for one of those iconic shows in a sense, <laughs> iconic mm-hmm. uh, iconic zombie uh, shows slash manga. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, with Justin's High School DxD, that's actually that was actually my number one. Uh, I love that show. Oh, I, cool, I've actually cool. watched oh, it. We're just doing five, man. You don't. Have to uh, say I know. I, one, but right? let, let me just get out the way, right? Let's okay. do something a little bit different, right? Let's get <laughs> maybe out okay, maybe sure. know who can switch it up yeah. and then give it right. a new number one. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. go for it. Go for it. Because like, dude, High School DxD is amazing. Of course, there's the significant I mean, sniper high school scene. High School of the or Dead. Our, our high School of the yeah, Dead. Yeah, yeah sorry. Well, too many high schools. Too <laughs> many high schools. Uh, yes. Don't, don't, don't at me. Uh, I, it's, it's just what it's called. Right? I'm not really yeah, into high yeah. schoolers. So <laughs> FBI good. agent, please, please yeah, back off. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, High School of the Dead was amazing. I've rewatched that series like at least five to six times. And oh, damn. it's it's First to fast. me, it was amazing, right? It was at a time where I love zombie things, so I was trying to watch anything, if anything, uh, zombies, right? Real life movies, TV shows, animes, whatever. And then you know you got beautiful women or beautiful girls. Uh, you got like a, a kick-ass MC that I always thought was pretty damn badass. And uh, you know the the otaku who was like a like a crazy sniper in a sense. Like, yeah, a big uh, army like nut knows like every weapon down yeah. to like the serial number and everything. <laughs> yeah, if anything, he could have been the real MC of the show. But I mean, like I said, the, the two male characters in the group, they're they're really cool and enjoyable. So I, I really love the show. Um but yeah, since you guys already brought it up, I thought I would just throw it back out there because I really love high school DXE and high school of the dead. And you know, I just wanted to give it more exposure, I guess. So I'll okay. just leave it at that. Okay. We should probably also mention too, like our guilty pleasures, it doesn't always have to be etchiness. It can basically be like a some show that we just really like that either is good or just terrible, but we don't care. We just um, happen to be degenerates. So. Yeah. Yeah, you'll yeah. you'll know you'll you'll know from my number five uh immediately that honestly th- I don't even think this is a good show, but I think it's just so much fun. It's a guilty pleasure. My number That's five. Why. But yeah, my number five is Ooh. Sword Art Online. Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> I figured it had to be in somebody's. Ew. I I chose this because honestly, because like when we started doing this podcast and we were just shitting on it, it was so much fun. I I was honestly looking forward to the episodes, uh, oh just ba- basically so we could talk about it. Like I thought that was so much fun. Uh, I don't think uh, I've never taken so many notes before in my life for any show except Sword Art Online. Like I basically I had my what, notepad. What were you ready. taking notes about? Dude, so she can stop just shit. The awfulness that was sort of. Oh, and okay, I, okay. And okay. I just I just and loved it. We're, uh, specifically, we're talking about <laughs> allization. So yeah, 
Alicization. Yeah, I should mention it. Alicization. Because we, we started this podcast during that time. Especially part two <laughs> with like with Asna yes. like getting captured with fucking like uh uh Leafa almost getting like just staying there, just letting yourself get get like sexually assaulted by that one guy. Tentacles. Just, you know. All like Fucking, like like Alice and like like everyone falling yeah. in love with Kirito even though like his fucking wife is there like yeah just so many yeah, things a lot of things yeah, to talk about in part yeah. two just a shit show that is our sort of but it was so much fun to talk and about. also the fact <laughs> that, like <laughs> also the fact that like, a lot of people online kept praising it like especially like the Reddit threads oh, kept God. praising yeah. it and we're like what the fuck's oh, wrong with people yeah so yeah. Sorry, Justin, were you going to say something? No, I was just going to say that it's funny that you mentioned, you know, how Sword Art has kind of become the meme show just with the criticisms and stuff well, that we've we've particularly focused on that that are all valid, honestly, in my mind. Yeah. But it's funny in the sense that, like, when Sword Art first came out, like, oh, I love that show. Like, yeah, I was everybody did. the everybody. biggest Sword, fart, Sword Art stand. Sword Fart, yes. <laughs> Sword Fart, hey, man, I'm just taking all your nicknames and <laughs> Yeah, right? <laughs> um, no. Nice, okay. No, yeah, it, the, like how David, the, the the part that I was gonna say, Justin, is like what David said, where how so many people online are praising it. Uh, or I actually think too many people are praising they, it. But they kept I, saying, I also like, think they kept saying so many people... was like the best arc of Sword Art ever. Yeah, yeah. and it was mm. absolutely not that. That's what it's not. But, but to be tr- but like to for the truthful uh, the part of it, I think the people who already gave up on Sword Art already gave up it long time ago. They're not watching. They're not keeping up with it. I think they're just done with the show now, yeah. right? So yeah. basically, I think it's just like us <laughs> fools who, you know, we're, we've gone too far. We just have to finish it. Actually, and I think <laughs> the, my it will never part, be finished. I my favorite that. part of our discussions <laughs> was when that one part came when, like, um, what was it like like I was saying like like man, if only we had like a cool like a cool part here to justify all this, and like oh well, no, I, I said like. Like if only, I wish I could ask you like if this was worth it, but the answer is obvious. And then they're saying, "Just ask us anyway, David." I was like, "Okay, was it worth it?" He like gave us the biggest like no ever in their life, and I love that part. Like, <laughs> like even they were uh, they're just they were just so defeated. Like yeah. I was trying, I, I, was, I was trying to give them the way out, and they were just they were so defeated. Like they they just accepted yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, me and Kuo specifically. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. after they became fairies and they like get to start flying, I went like. Okay, that's good enough. So See, second season. Like, for me, eh, for me that was bad. But I just have good memories of just like when we started the podcast. Mm-hmm. It was just it was just oh god, it was just good times. It was fun. So that, that <laughs> in a sense holds a special me... place in your heart. Yes. So in a sense I mean, it hey, gave me that guilty that, pleasure. That counts as guilty <laughs> so, pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's but, a, that's but okay. One. I think we spent more than enough time again on Sword Art. Uh <laughs> Johan, we will move to the number four. High school DXD. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 But this is what everyone's list. But, 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 okay, okay. Everyone's I, I'll, I'll yeah. say two things. They're all looking real similar. It's not what? mine, okay. Not mine. So basically, don't ask me shit about the lore. Don't ask me shit about what's happening. <laughs> I'll tell you about the lore. I'm a true fan. I'll tell you about, I'll tell you about the lore. David's got you covered. No, no, no. no. Yeah. Rias Grimory, they, like, Rias Grimory best moments, or Rias Grimory only. Click the first video that comes up, and I just... Love everything that I see. For this one, sometimes I like make sure that like Olivia's in the bedroom or something. Like you know, <laughs> like nah, I don't really want to see. But all right, um, David, do you have a number four? Um, I guess I'll just say I'll I'll say Trini Seven, just because like it's not it's not oh, even too man, bad. That's but, a like, show I haven't heard in a while. But like mm-hmm. I uh I enjoy the comedy, even though like it is again the main character is super etchy, super reverted, but because I'm good. Like I enjoy the comedy and I like, I enjoy like the the the, the artist's previous manga Count Trouble. I thought that was a really funny series manga series. But it never got an anime, but um, Rip. I still I still enjoy Twenty Seven, especially with the the powers because Count Trouble was more uh, just comedy. Here we actually have actual powers, so I enjoy that. I don't remember much from the show. It's been a long time since I watched it, but like, so I would never rate it highly. But it was a fun watch. So I guess I guess that counts as guilty pleasure. Nice. Okay. Justin. All right. For my number four, um, and, and no pun intended with this, you know, with covering guilty pleasures, but my number guilty, four guilty, guilty pleasure cr- is crown. guilty crown. Yes. Yes. Oh. David, you guessed it. <laughs> and so this is a show that honestly oh, did so many things right coming out of the gate for the time that I released and you know, the the quality of this animation and the soundtrack and everything. And unfortunately, the latter half of the series from a narrative standpoint 
just becomes an absolute train wreck. But oh even with all that said, this is a show that I loved, and this is a show that um, for those who haven't watched our top openings video, go ahead and watch that, and you'll find a little bit more about why I really like this show. But again, it's a show that I realize the flaws for it, but for you know all the other reasons on things that it has, I just love it at the end of the day, and it's a show that if somebody hasn't seen it and is like willing to watch it, we're gonna goddamn watch it because it's, <laughs> it's a big guilty pleasure of mine. So. Which one was that? Uh, guilty guilty crown. crown. Oh, guilty crown. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah, nice. that's my number four. All right. Cool. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there's a reason why we're friends, guys. Because <laughs> oh. Stren already got my number five. Because it's oh. Sword Art Online. Oh, dude. <laughs> since I don't want to really expand on it. I, I really love the first season. The very first season. And then from that point on, I just kind of kept hoping that it would get back to its original roots and it would just get better. And uh, it, it never really did. So uh, I still love the series <laughs> yeah. and I still watch it, keeping my hopes up. But... Uh, yeah, that's that. That was my number five. Four. Four. No, that would be number number five. Uh, I went straight to my number two and one because David and Justin already covered oh, it. Okay. So. Damn, man, oh, we just straight okay. downloaded Coos <laughs> Coos files yeah. over here, man. <laughs> Feel bad. Yeah, but that's um, right. I got I got more in store. So good, we'll, good, 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 good. We'll go on. Excited for those. So, am I going to my then? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, well, my number four, I just put down as fate stuff because fate even though stuff. i don't know anything of what's going on i still watch every single damn thing that comes out for fate <laughs> whether it's fate stay I night mean... like uh was it just a normal thing unloaded blade works uh heaven's feel grand order um that even the spin-off with the uh, the uh lord el malloy um hey, or, even, or good. apocrypha uh, yeah lord, lord el malloy was, was actually good. decent uh... yeah the other stuff is you, just you you you, like, you, just... you keep your apocrypha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So which yeah, apocrypha right here. Um but yeah, it's but I've really I've never really known. I think me and David attempted to explain something with Fate Say and then we're I think we or Fate and we both agreed, yeah, let's just never talk about Fate again. It's better we, off we, not trying it. Yeah, I mean we we just we weren't going anywhere with it. There's <laughs> there's there's plenty of like fate specific people out there and even Gigawk had a video, so yeah feel free. Feel free to yeah, go, go to his. Don't like, go to ours. Don't go to um, us. Yeah. <laughs> but no, like the music, animation. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Justin. No, I was just going to say uh, the real question, though, Stratton, is how much money has been thrown into the Fate Grand Order oh. gotcha game? If you're uh, a real oh. fan of everything Fate, here's the point mm. zero. I never spent okay. any money. I never okay. spent how, any money. How much, I do not play it. Anymore, how much yeah. money has gone into Fate figures, though? Uh, uh, no comment. Yeah, that's the that's the one. Uh, no, but the, the animation, the music, uh, like that stuff has been just solid because they they've had like high like like good animation studios with the Ufotable. Uh, David, I don't know if you remember the other ones with Grand Order. Um, Grand Order is Clover Cloverworks. Cloverworks, yeah. Like they they've they've gotten like the animation studios behind it and everything, but you know it's just again like, and, uh, the, the story for everything is so convoluted. Just well, it's in, I'll, it's I'll say uh, for Cloverworks too. Uh, a lot of the people who before figure they were working in Sword Art before their their own separate uh -huh. their own separate studio with A One, and then they spun off into Cloverworks, and then it's so after, so after Sword Art they made Fate Grand Order. Mm, yeah. Okay, the one that we won't talk about to, to end to your point of the Fate series thread is uh, the original Fate Stay Night oh, done boy. by Studio oh, Dean. Dean. That is a actual the, the classic train wreck MVP. A, a classic series, nonetheless. <laughs> hey, but man, when you all, know the real all, story, you're just like, what the hell happened? We all love that the CGI <laughs> dragon. Come on, Dude, that's, that's, what what actually, that's uh, our real that's our real guilty pressure. <laughs> Because Saber, Saber obviously is like one of my favorites, so it's like I would like her story, like the legit story done by you, Photobo specifically. Uh, yeah, honestly, man, that's, I'd be okay I, with Photobo. That's, 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 that's everyone. Here's, here's what I don't get about yeah. Fate. I've been watching, wanting Dude, to watch just don't think about for a it. long it's time. Impossible. Why is everyone like every single post I see online, every single like group, not group, every uh like forum? Mm -hmm. trashes on fate stay night the original one but isn't that the one that started everything because it's not, it's, terrible. it's not um it's it's not the the true it's not the full first route they mixed together with a whole bunch of stuff all of them all yeah. three routes so the series was originally uh, a set of uh, uh light novel games 
Or visual yeah. novels, visual excuse novel. me. Yeah. Yes, yeah. visual novel games. Yes. Yeah. But anyway, we won't talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was my number four. Uh, Johan, number three. Number three. It's not an anime per se, but it's a Google search. It's Gibriel AMV in YouTube. Okay. Because No Game, No Life, it's like not a guilty pleasure, but watching videos about Gibriel, that's the good stuff. Okay. Like I, it, I'm, it, it's, I'm admittedly is... doing this right now for, for research purposes, of course. Mm-hmm. You have what to say you're No Game, No Life then? Because we are just naming anime. <laughs> Well, because No Game No Life as a series, I like it, but it's not a guilty pleasure. Like, if I, if you ask me to watch an anime over and over again for a guilty pleasure, it wouldn't be uh, No Game No Life. But my guilty pleasure of number three would be watching Gibriel videos. That's creepy. I think that's fair to have a specific character that's the, the guilty pleasure direct draw. So yeah, it's like, I'm following okay. you. Yeah, I, I can't fault the logic behind that, honestly. I, that, okay. Sometimes all you need is just one waifu in a show. The show can be good in its own regard, but then that I'm, waifu takes it to the next level. It's yeah. She real yeah. being my number one waifu, I feel that she deserved the spot. For her videos, I usually make sure that Olivia is not here. You know? Just, Fair enough. We, we don't I, have to any more into details of the videos. I, no, no. I, oh, we'll, God. we'll keep it there. Keep it there. <laughs> all uh, right. David, do you have a number three? Um, I'll just pick this. This will be just the throwback for you, Stray, and I'll pick the Grisaya series. <laughs> just because of how oh! ridiculous how ridiculous they are, and especially like when you know the yeah. backstory of how like these are originally like visual novel or basically like really like really for like like basically like the, the hentai games, like like you go in the background of how like think... how how perverted like these the series actually are and they don't see that in, in the anime, but like even the anime it's so ridiculous, but somehow I watched all of it. I just like Same. it's just the ridiculousness, <laughs> like of how this fucking main character just what he does. Like I don't know. This is probably like, the most like I guess ridiculous one on my list. Just like I cannot recommend this to anyone, but like I somehow just watched end up watching all of it just because I I don't know. Yeah, they all had ridiculous was, backstories where it just got it just, it, it just got just the time that it came out too. Like I was just like sucking to the red threads of like, what the hell is this show? Like, <laughs> uh. I need more. Like, uh. I'm surprised I picked it up too, and I actually stuck with it even after the first. I think it was like the first or second episode where it's just like, okay, um, I'll continue. So that's my. I'll pick that as my number three, just for you, Stren. Thanks, man. <laughs> that, that's you know, understandable. But Justin, number three. All right, my number three. I don't know if many of you will be familiar with it, but uh, the anime series is called K. It's oh, I series, watched it. Uh, yes. I've heard of it. Yeah, yeah, back yes. in 2012. I always used to um, say Project by K. Studio Go Hands. Just because, yeah, like, Project K, more more and, formal name and for then, it. And then K, Return of Kings, is easier because yep. when you search, try to search K anime, it's so hard to to look up. So yeah, fine. Just, that's I, specific I, one. I, so I do, I do good Project, clarification. Project there. K. Project yeah. K. So yes. Number three is Project K. Um, the reason for this, that this is a guilty pleasure is once again. Um, so just a quick synopsis of the show. Uh, it is a series about a group or a variety of individuals that are deemed kings. And they become these kings or, you know, for lack of a better term, gang leaders through this uh, ability that they acquire of like psychic abilities. So it's such a show that, again, the plot is not really the strongest thing. It is just a <laughs> visual eye candy at the end of the day. And man, it is a show yeah. that all of the character designs and, you know, all of the fights that they have, like, they're just so beautifully done that I'm just a huge sucker for it. But the man, story, I'm just, worthless. I'm just disappointed because, like, it had so much potential, but just really poor execution. Like, the whole, like, story and the lore of, like, just the gang members, like, you had this huge like factions like fighting each other, just all in like the characters. Like it could have been cool, but yep. like too yep. much focus, too much focus on the main character. It had to be the, almost the fucking, too cool. The and fucking, then like, back cat, up. Too much focus on the main character didn't do anything, and the fucking cat lady. Yep. Oh, oh. Good, old, good old cat girl. Forgot to oh. mention this. Oh yes, a you got focus on. Of course, I want to give, I wanna give shout outs. Here. Shout outs to uh, the leader, of the red, uh, the red gang. I forgot what his name was, but no bone, no ash. No, no, um, no glory or whatever. Oh yeah, the phrasing of the gang. Dude, yep. his and I, I, and I'm not. And Stray knows that I don't pay attention to soundtracks, but dude, his soundtrack, I listen to the shit of, of his theme. He had, <laughs> no, he had the I'm best glad theme. we have you here, David, because that's he the had, other thing. The soundtrack had, of this series the, is so the good. Best theme of like all the <laughs> other people's themes, and like is is so good. Link, so I, link, please, link, please. I will find it, but 
to get it for you. But yes, that is, I, that I, is I my listen, number three. I listen to Project the game K. so much. Okay. Hey, I remember David actually showed me the, I think, with the opening uh, scene, I think, of the show. And yeah. it, just, it looked awesome. Yeah. No, yeah. Visually, just, yeah. they went balls to the wall. So, yeah. But okay. Mikoto Suo, cool. that's good? his name. Okay, I need to find his name. Yes. Yeah. All right, cool. Number three. All right, so I guess let's get to my number three. Finally, something that none of you guys have talked about. Ooh, a new one. Let's Ooh. go. Uh, but the next one on my list would be a Kame Ga Kyo. Uh, so I don't know if any of you guys have seen of it. I guess most people would know the more popular one, Kill a Kill, I guess. I've, I've heard of a Kame Ga Kyo. I've never seen it. They're yeah. not related, sir. I don't know what that is. Uh, but but then, like, it's like Kill a Kill, Kame Ga Kyo. People, if you don't know much, you're not related. related but if you, nah. if you were to ask them which one they would know, people would say Kill a Kill yeah. is, is yeah. the more oh, like popular okay. answer, right? Yeah, studio trigger and everything. Yeah. Anyway, so, so what so, about a Kame Ga Kill? So the thing about this is, you know, it's I thought it was a pretty interesting concept, right? Basically, you know, spoilers, almost all the main characters die. Okay. So if you have an attachment to anyone, you don't know, watch best of luck to you. Don't watch the show, <laughs> but they're going to die. Okay. <laughs> the the premise of the show is basically uh there's these uh there's these chosen people who have like this this artifact that gives them immense power, kind of like equipment, right? But then the, the the legend goes that when two people that has this artifact fight, one of them has to die, right? They're just going to die. And then of course everyone is fucking brawling out in this in this series. So, you know, like people are dying left to right every time a like a major fight occurs. And one of my major waifus, uh Estef, is in this show and she's like the ice queen that has this crazy ice power. You know, total badass. She's also the main villain of the show in a sense. And unfortunately, she dies at the end too. But you know, she she does die of her love interest. So, eh. well, it's... I mean, anime has anime original. The manga is way different. So, if you want to see, right, it? Read, well, read the manga. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, so I haven't seen the manga, out. but then after the anime, I kind of just gave up like, on it. But I do like watching the show every now and then, just because yeah. of Esther. The the so. manga it ended mm-hmm. a while ago, I think. But like, yeah, like there, there's an anime original. So like, the, so the manga is completely different than. Mm-hmm. Then, oh. like i mean i think up, up until like the la- the very last few episodes it's like it's the same but then like uh mm. then the manga keeps going after that so yeah but in all honesty though it's 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 not that great of a show but really i i, mean, I enjoy the manga it's... i love the manga maybe that's my well, version, but... well the manga is different from the anime though is it it's slightly yeah, like, maybe. Maybe. Only, saying i don't yeah. think it's that much oh. different like the most Oh, I, hate, I hated there's, myself. There's, there's All I can say is I hated myself watching the anime because I hated how like nothing makes sense. Like I, I don't like. How <laughs> I guess everyone it's dies very, at it's, the end. All it's right? very. I guess it's very edgy just because how many people die, but I still <laughs> enjoy it. Uh, oh, uh, I guess. But yep, that is my number three. I would not. Okay. Put a, I would not put a guilty just, pleasure. I would put it as one of my one of my favorite mangas. So just to uh, add to that, I, yes, I wa- after I watched different strokes like, for different uh, I can't make a kill. Is that went right to my top five waifus? Like I didn't know about her. I don't know, but I saw her and I went like, "This bitch could fuck me up and kill me." Let's go. I'll <laughs> That's take the only her. reason why I kept watching. Please <laughs> only step reason. on the S death. <laughs> yes. Basically, raise my ass. Raise my ass. So, uh, my number three was Monster Musume. Uh, nice. Mainly because that was actually the one that. That uh, I mean, it was basically just Monster Girls, and I was like, okay, this is this is nice. It's the one that kind of like <laughs> opened it up for me. That uh, it was never really knew like what was the interest that I actually had, and I was like, okay, I'm, well, and it, and I actually thought like with the animation, what was of this, like any kind of story that they had, I actually didn't think it was that bad at all. And uh, <laughs> and uh, for the etchy ones, it's it's one of my top favorites, one of the top favorites at all the time. Yeah, but, definitely always heared up there. Do you yeah. have a uh, Mia figure? No, she only has one, and it's but if that has a rerun, I'm immediately picking one up. Nice, because uh, Mia really? is by far the the number one in that oh, show. Yeah. Uh, but really, you know, we've already talked about it. That's all I have for my number three. Johan, number two. Number two. Funny enough, not an itchy at all. Ooh, Neo yeah. Genesis Evangelion. How's that guilty pleasure? I... Everybody thinks it's good. Yeah, <laughs> not everybody. Uh, not what? everyone. Not everyone. I, mean, yeah. I haven't uh, seen it, 
because I, I think like it's not. very overrated. But I like it's, it's, a pretty exactly. com- it's a pretty That's conflicted right. it's series, me, I would though. say. Like, like with how many people that... shit on Shinji, the main character, I mean, that's kind of a major turnoff. Yo, so. they're with them. Sure. Unless, Johan, spoilers. Johan, spoilers. Johan, is, Johan, is, spoilers. Is, spoilers. Is, is Shinji I'm your not... favorite character? Fuck no. no. Exactly. So there's no yeah. point. And that turns some people off, but... Okay. And he keeps watching it. So. Anyway, this is it's I mean, this is your this is your number, number two. Number, so let yes, let yes, me number shit number two. Like, exactly. It's Johan, like Neon Genesis Evangelion has everything, and it's a guilty pleasure because I don't watch it like to just watch it. I watch it to analyze the shit out of it. Every time you watch Evangelion, you learn something different. With the last movie, like there's two ways of watching Evangelion: the first series, Shitting and on. then the movies, and oh. then the rebuild movies. <laughs> what? I mean, and the doujins, but we're not talking about doujins now. Yeah. I mean, no, well, this is anime. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, not forget it. Those, those are important too. You yes. can analyze it. You can yeah. like watch it and rewatch it and rewatch it and just go deep into it. There's a whole culture about Evangelion. People that say like, "Ew, anime, just watch it and watch it." And it's like, "Yeah, I don't like anime, but Evangelion is really good." It's like, God those damn, those super noobs. Yes, I'm, I'm just and saying then, for such a popular series, it's hard to put guilty pleasure, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'm having okay, a then. I, hey, no, <laughs> I, I, no, it's I your, it's your list. It's your one list. of those things too that. Yeah, you. Yeah. No. Nope. Oh, okay. Number no, no, two. No, no, no. Say you kept, you, you no, had you had it. No, you're you, good. You have the number two. Yeah, you're good. That? Mm. Yeah. Don't, don't let, here, don't let David uh, kink shame you, Johan. Not kink shame. Just saying, like it's popular, so not counting. I would, I would, I would have to agree with David. Um, David, you're number two. I'll just, I'll just say this as more of a category, like so. In the late 2000s and early 2010s, we had a whole lot of these battle high school series. So, oh uh, yes, yes. I'll, okay. I guess I'll pick the okay. one that I guess, I guess the mo- enjoy the most from that is probably um, uh, this is Japanese. What's the English title? This is um, Chivalry of a Failed Knight. That was like oh, my favorite yeah. of the the battle high school series where. The main guy, of course, like he, he he has no magic. He's only good of like his his swordsmanship. Mm. So he has to constantly work harder, and everyone shits on him. But it was actually a really I thought it was a good romance between him and the main the main girl because we don't really see that much. Like there was not, not really a harm besides like his his like his like stuff that that was like in love with him. But it's mainly the, the, the pair between the two. So I really enjoyed this of all the other out of high school because we had we got. Asterix Four, we got Infinite Stratos, we got Dude, we, we got a dozen, Asterisk, baby. We got Asterix Four the exact same fucking season as Chivalry as a Knight. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, so I put them all together into one category. But um, Chivalry of the Field Knight was my favorite album, so I'll just put that on there. Solid choice, solid choice. <laughs> no. Johan, er, Johan, Justin, <laughs> number two, too many J's. Right. Um, so <laughs> my number two, hopefully some of you guys will know it. Um, God, the Japanese name is is a mouthful, so I'll just use the shortened version. But it is called uh, Watamote, and the English oh, is my Watamote. God. No matter how I look the, at it, the, it's you guys' fault. I'm the, unpopular. The, the, the cringe oh, 4chan show. I, yeah. And so to give you a quick synopsis again, it is this high schooler that is just going into their freshman year, oh, and God. after living 50 simulated high school lives, basically playing all these dating app games. She believes that she has everything she needs to absolutely knock her high school, you know, experience out of the park. She's seen every scenario that there is. And lo and behold, when she first arrives to high school, she finds out that she is a total weirdo, is like excluded (laughs) from everything and just goes through these hilarious situations in which she thinks she understands how real world scenarios go and it never goes to plan. So that series always has me cracking up. Uh, I absolutely love the main character and honestly can kind of uh, empathize a little bit with their experiences of just trying to have normal human interactions and not having those human skills at all to do that. So that's my number two. Oh, God. I, I tried watching that a long time ago when I first started getting back into anime. I couldn't do it. Dude. It was too cringe for me. I, I dropped it. It's a different <laughs> piece for it. sure. Like so, it's D it's D Gen stuff. It was tough. Yeah. It was tough. What's the name of it? What the what? I can tell you the link. Um, yeah, it's yeah, not, I can it's, it's not my fault. I'm it not pop, it, it's not my fault. I'm not popular. It's like the English title. Well, Johan, yeah. I put it in the anime chat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's one of those then, maybe it's the same thing with the Chinibio show. Couldn't do it. It yeah, was I love Chinibio. Yeah, that's the thing. I think it was maybe 
I think it was because I was just getting back into anime, so maybe I, for some reason, like, wasn't in the mindset. If I maybe if I go back to it, maybe I'll actually be able to watch the the entire show. Um, so uh, and, I, and I, was, I was just a sucker for the opening because the opening is well, kind of like a death oh, yeah. metal like yep. screamo. <laughs> 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 the yeah, opening that does not fit this girl at all. There is a following though for for the show though. I know a well, lot of people uh, really like that show. Oh my god! So I don't know how true this story is. I just heard a long time ago that, like the manga. I know the manga is not that popular in Japan, but I heard the story that like it was got to get canceled. So then the 4chan anime board they went and. Like a whole bunch of people oh bought, like the they bought the manga, and this. apparently, apparently that saved like the series from being canceled. That's the story I heard. I don't know how true it is. Huh. Hey, that's so, dope. So, that's, so that, that's that's why <laughs> yeah. the series Pops is so. Those guys, then. That's why the series is so associated with 4chan because that's like the that's like the story that comes out of it. Like they basically saved the series by buying up the manga when it came out. So I don't know if, hey, how true it is. If it's true, props to them. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, yeah, then. that's all I got to add for Watamote. Very nice, very nice. Cool. You're number two. All right. So let's let's go let's go back in time a little bit, right? Okay. So okay. take a the time back. when uh, I just finished watching uh, Clan Ed due to a suggestion <laughs> of a friend, and then I was like, "Man, this is a pretty good uh, this is a pretty good series." Like, like what else do you recommend? And then this person introduced me to Yosuga no Sora. Oh my god. Oh. You also got no Sora. I got I've that. heard yeah. the name. Oh I'm my god. It so it's basically this about this... with like incest. Yeah. Yes. So it's oh. basically about oh. his brother oh. and his sister <laughs> who uh whose parents got an accident, whatever, so they're orphans and they go live with their grandparents, right? And then like uh there's like four different arcs, right? So there's a guy and a girl, and then Ooh. like the incest arc is the last uh, <laughs> the last arc. But then the first arc was with like their their female friends, right? And then of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like so like when I was yeah. watching it, I was like, oh okay, that that's it's not too bad, you know, it's not too bad. And then the incest uh, incest arc <laughs> began, and I was like, did not expect this was going to happen. <laughs> All right. And then uh, yep, I turned it off. I yelled at my friend. Never took any more suggestions <laughs> from him. <laughs> That, and, yeah, uh, this show is the one show that I like. I always hear like similar to like the po <laughs> Boku no Pico, like me. Yeah, I always oh, hear the show brought up as well. I mean, okay, the, yeah. I've when never I, heard of the show. When I saw like Just the thank God, well, because like the the guy and like the, the, the his sister, they're on the cover. So when I saw that, yeah. I was like, I could even tell what was gonna happen, and especially with the format too of like how like it because it's it's again based off a of visual novel. So like so the, the, the each the arc is like a route. So you have four episodes for an arc. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. So I was I could tell it was uh, happening at the end. So and then I saw yeah. the clips. So, so after enjoying Clan Ad, I assumed this would be good as well, right? And oh, he recommended man. a good one. So why would up. this one be bad? Yeah. So why is this, why I, is... like I said, I enjoyed it up to the very end. So okay, it's, it's kind of hard to say that I watched I'll just, it. I was gonna say, why is it your guilty pleasure if you didn't enjoy it that much? He was at a well. Your friend was at a five hundred then. Yes, because I am guilty to <laughs> admit that I have yeah. seen it. It so, sounds like we need yes. Koo's friend on to know what the real guilty, guilty dark mm -hmm. side of things are. Mm -hmm. oh, God. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my number okay. two. Okay. Wow. Well, uh, my number two is probably the first uh, kind of harem, etchy show that I ever got introduced to, and that is Love Hina. Um, oh, even though I, I even rewatched this, uh, so I originally saw this. Oh my god, I think when it first was coming out to DVD here, I borrowed it from my friend. I was like, wow, this is actually like what I thought at the time, like really good. Um, I rewatched the show, I think in 2016, and still thought it was just solid, but I watched it in Japanese this time. English dub mm -hmm. terrible, and um, but it's really like the first one that kind of got me into like the whole like etchy, harem, romance, comedy, uh, comedy shows of anime. So it, again, has like that the like the feels of it mm -hmm. and i have that to think for why i watch so many harms now <laughs> <laughs> so uh that is my number two for guilty pleasure wait what show uh lavina oh, okay lavina <laughs> yep that, that is a classic yeah yeah, yeah it's basically the classic OG, so. and uh i think overall like if for harms i think i would still probably pick that as like my number one favorite even though it, i mean i don't think it was really good probably at all, like by all means yeah but okay. i still I, I still enjoyed it it was back in middle school and you know, loved it. Mm. Um, but okay, are we ready to move to our number ones? Yeah, I think so. Go on, go for your number one. Can I add an honorable mention real quick? Because it stayed out, but it's it's worth mentioning it. Uh, go for it. Uh, really, like fast, Keijo. 
Oh, oh the, yeah. That's, Wait, what that's, that's K-Jones. 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 They, it's uh, girls uh, fighting with their butts. The butt, oh, yeah, oh, like, oh, cage butt fighting. <laughs> cage <laughs> butt fighting. Yeah, okay, I, I can hear what you're saying. So I. And very, like this Mio, Mio, the girl that fights with her boobs, yeah. she has freaking, how do you call it? Um, Jiggle metronomic physics. moves. I don't uh-huh. know. No, no, it's 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 great. But okay, so for my number one, <laughs> freaking guilty pressure, pleasure, the hentai. I gotta lock my house. Lock. I gotta okay, close okay. all my doors. Is it I gotta anti? put headphones on. Of course, it's anti. Man, this is the last oh one that you updated. Yes, sir. It's Isekai Harem Monogatari. Two episodes. Is that, is that the link that you God. made? All, is that the link that you Fuck told it. us, and then you, we had to all delete our search history because of you? Yeah, I'm, I'm just like, saying, <laughs> can I not search this? Is FBI gonna come crash? Uh, it's, it's not. But it's okay. I'm got perspective. It's an Isekai. Yeah, we don't. Look, we'll keep it, you know, like where we can actually air this. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a hentai, so so yeah, so, so so when, very when, little when, when he like, when he said I, we said we said he said the title, and then we're like, what is that? So we all looked it up, and then we're like, okay, Johan, you may as now delete our search history because I mean, yeah, like I was I was looking like just at random animes, and then I went to the deep side of the internet, and I was like, what well, your hentai sites. It? No, 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 it wasn't even a hint side. That's the funny part. Like, <laughs> people were recommending weird animes, and someone went, like, Oh, watch this. Like, what the fuck is this? So I looked it up, <laughs> and then it was two episodes and a bunch of weird sides. And I'm like, mm, Let's watch it. And the lore, god damn, it actually has a really <laughs> cool. Yo, lore. there's two episodes. Hey, man, <laughs> okay, man, but hey, man they got episodes. lore in those two episodes. episodes baby. You're, you're, All you need is two. You're, 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 you're one of the. Go ahead, David. <laughs> I'll say, I mean, the title is, was it Isekai Monogatari. Mon- isekai, isekai Harem Monogatari. That literally means other, o- other World Harem Story. Yeah. Hey, man, they're straight into the point. Johan, you are one of 5,342 5, brave souls who have put it down on their My Anime list that they have seen this show. <laughs> and I have it as a masterpiece. Very brave. Oh, I, I, I don't doubt it. Can you I watch can't. it? Absolutely not. I can't, Just watch I can't, it. I can't believe watch it later. is right. allowed. He'll, he'll watch it later. Uh, it's great. It's hey, it is an anime. Yeah, it's no, it, it, it fits. I respect it's Johan anime. for coming Johan, for the conversation and not shying away from it. So, Johan, yeah. kudos to you, man. I like, how that, I like how that goddamn show has a higher score than other shows that I thought were really good. <laughs> That's a really good go. point. Right? That is just yeah. uh, maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe the reviewers were thinking with a different head. You know? Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if they ever make figures for that anime, sir, oh boy, am I going to get them. Oh, sure, I'm sure they were. Again, okay. wait, I'm sure you have <laughs> up in the background. Yes, <laughs> it's not an well, upward trajectory. I had a feeling, Johan. Like I already knew you're number one, and I knew yeah. you're number one. I, mean, I just couldn't remember what it was called. I was just it's joking, like... and now I wish I was wrong. <laughs> Honestly, out of <laughs> all of my edit, back. all of my picks, that's probably the guiltiest pleasure. It's like, bro, that's fucked fair up. enough. Fair hey. enough. Hey, man. Hey, hey props to you. Makes, this is why hey, we got this. He, he yeah, the in, people he, need to know. He fits yeah. in the he fits in the trash taste. We were also are not afraid to <sighs> list our favorite hentai. Hey, don't, don't this worry. is why we made this list. This is why we made the guilty pleasures. No. Exactly. <laughs> we stray away from no topic here. Yes. But it's like yes. it's like everyone should watch it. Mm. It's really mm. good. Yeah, I'll be I'm next okay. on my list. I think next I'll, list I think I'll sure. survive. Yes. If yes, you're uh, 18 or older, yes, give it a look. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes. Of course. Of course. Yeah. 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 Um Okay then. How, how, uh, about, how, about, Yo- how about Johanna? They make a live action version. I'll watch it. Why no, you know that was a nasty <laughs> cast. David, what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried yeah. about that, David, because if we don't know the content, <laughs> I don't know on. what kind of scenes they're getting into. So. Moving <laughs> on, right? Who watches normal okay. porn? No, anyway. Uh, okay. on, <laughs> on next week's video, we'll be and talking about now. <laughs> speaking of which, I hate it when Stratton says that says it that way. It's just I'm bothered. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Bjorn. It Bjorn. just sounds so wrong. Oh, God. Uh, all right, David, how are you going to follow up that? I can't, yes, tough but to please. That so is minor, tough. So minor one, it's got to be another <laughs> category. This is just like, um, for me, I like I read so many like uh, web novel isekais, like like. Like the death, the death march, isekai, isekai. I read like I think there's like I read over three hundred three hundred chapters of that. The absolute waste of time. The Suki, Suki, Suki Michi, like <laughs> Moonlight Fantasy that like, Clue's watching this season. I read like two hundred chapters of that. Oh there, my God. I, there's there's like a gun gun otaku one where like this guy like he you know gets reincarnated but he's obsessed with guns so he makes his he makes he 
has this power to like make guns in this fancy world. So read that for a while. Read a lot of that. So I read, and there's um there's actually one the isekai coming out later called um like uh the like the shadow of the the shadow and the eminence whatever. It's where like this this like this Chunibyo kid like gets reincarnated and he thinks he and uh, he thinks he's making up this compar- conspiracy because he's trying to be like Chunibyo, but then it turns out everything he's saying as a joke is real. And so I think it's it's what pretty 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 funny pretty funny take on isekais, where like everything is is real and he, he's the only one that doesn't realize it. So I just read a lot of these these web novel isekais. Like besides besides Mushoku Tensei for some reason I somehow didn't get to that, but I'll definitely be reading that after the anime. The previous one before you said Mushoku Tensei, the other one is that is that meant to be a comedy? Yeah. Okay, good. I'll have to check it out then. Yeah. So like. But for some reason, I didn't read even Shuku Tensei. I guess maybe I couldn't find like a translation or whatever. Or maybe I was... I don't know. But like, I'll definitely be reading Shuku Tensei later. But I'm just saying, I read a lot of these like what, these web novel isekais. And they're not good. Like, like they drag on so much. I don't know how I read <laughs> them. But you keep them. on going back like, and reading them? Like, I, can't help I, it, man. <laughs> like, I think because I read so many... I, I speed read through them. And then there's so many chapters. I was like, okay, let's at least catch up maybe like they're, they're building up people they're building up the lore they're building up the powers the party members okay maybe something will happen 100 chapters later no it's like it's like the slime <laughs> isek, the slime show where it's like nothing happens oh god it's like that's oh, basically god. that's basically 100 chapters in these web novels so i don't know why it's such a waste of time but like it is a guilty yeah. pleasure of reading hey, these long ring long ring like... isekais that like don't make that and also also i, I read the the the, the uh, i'm as far as so what like 100 chapters of that when they're still in the cave oh, no. so oh no oh boy yeah <laughs> yeah it's basically like when me when i watched just about every isekai anime that i could and then realized like it's not worth it so like <laughs> like yeah that's my that's definitely a guilty pleasure like no one should be doing this i just like i just get so caught up in like and like maybe maybe the lore will pay off this time maybe and it, it doesn't mm. and i never learned my God. lesson Hey, no worries. Oh, that's so good. This is gonna be tough to follow. <laughs> well, okay, Justin, go for it. Try to try uh, to follow through number one. Maybe, maybe I'll get some hate, kind of similar in the vein of you know Johan saying Evangelion and how popular it is. But so my number one, while I wouldn't classify it as a hentai, but <laughs> I think it's a fairly well known show. Etchy. Um, and more so, why why it is etchy, and why it's it not made it to... is it? No, 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 no. Okay. Um. But the reason why it made it to my number one guilty pleasure is the lore that the series has for me. So before I get into the lore, let me start with the series. So the series is Golden Boy. Golden Boy oh, is my oh, number oh, one yes. guilty <laughs> pleasure. Fresh and, on you. Now I got and... call. Now I got call on you and saying that's not guilty pleasure. Sure, that is a quality show. <laughs> <laughs> I right? would not. I would not admit that in public. So I agree so, that is that is a guilty pleasure. So, <laughs> you wouldn't admit so, it in public. What? The lore... Do you, have you not seen the show? You yes. don't admit that stuff in public. <laughs> Dude, everybody hey, loves that show, though, who have uh, seen it. Right, Justin, go ahead. Hey, man. So the lore behind the show, show is, you know, oh. take, us, take us back in time to, you know, the show came out, I think, like, mid-90s. And so I had came first been introduced. I had been introduced to it as a young boy in the most random of all places that you probably wouldn't expect. Our local Blockbuster. So <laughs> no one way. Night, I go to Blockbuster <laughs> with my family. I've seen all, you know, the kids' movies and everything. And I'm just getting into anime with Toonami and all that. And then, you know, I, I see this DVD for Gold or VHS. I can't remember what it was, what format it was on at the time. <laughs> it's probably VHS. Yeah. And so I, I see this. Right. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, oh, Golden Boy. And I didn't read too much into it immediately. I'm just like, oh, this looks like a nice guy, like on a bike and got some, you know, let's say interesting looking women so i take this up <laughs> and um i you know i'm with my my dad and my mom and stuff and they're just like oh i'm gonna get this and they're just like oh just justin what is this and i'm just like oh it's just an anime like i don't really know what it's about i just figure i check it out so lo and Wait. behold some somehow you know the guy that works at blockbuster thankfully doesn't know anything about it because if they did they'd probably be like uh i don't think your son should be watching a show <laughs> such as this so anyways i get home i turn it on very first episode, the main character is doing like swim lessons or something for whatever reason, ends <laughs> up popping like a full boner over <laughs> the swim instructor and just goes into like all these heinous scenarios. I think, you know, even one episode covers on like a woman who is like literally in love with her motorcycle and makes oh, yeah. love oh, yeah. to it. <laughs> so for me, as a young adolescent, I was just like, oh, OK, like 
I've never seen this kind of stuff from anime. <laughs> like, I could be okay with this. And I'm sure that had some psychological effects on me to this day. But, <laughs> you know, for all the best reasons, Golden Boy has stuck with me. I consistently go back and watch some of the skits from it, and it always has me dying. So You have to watch English one. dub, though. English yes. dub. Definitely. No, they were the English dub. Yeah. 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 So that's I, I think I saw an English dub as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was, yeah, me, yeah basically mentioning to listeners, you ha- if you haven't seen this, watch an English dub. It is I think YouTube, far, I, I way better than Japanese. I actually read the manga before I found out about the anime. So. Damn. Oh, oh Lord. Oh, this oh, guy has read all the manga. Yeah, I, yeah, so like, I, I got you on. No, I... I Sasha, Sasha told me about this anime like a month ago, and he was like constantly for a week telling me, "You have to watch it. You have to watch it." And I was looking for something to watch with Olivia, so I went like, "Hey, you know, oh, no. you, oh, you start no. watching it." <laughs> and then like we were in bed, like I was watching it and I was loving it, and I just hear the "Ew, Johan," and I'm like, "What?" And then I realized, "Oh, okay, that's what we're doing like, here." I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's Sasha's fault. See, so that's the thing. I, I agree to David's point. You know, it's a well-known, popular show. It constantly gets thrown around in the yeah. anime viewer space. But still, at the end of the day, I feel like it is one of those things where it's like, it's not for everybody. It's a show that, you know, you have to be really comfortable in who you're telling it about. And yeah, you need to tell sure. them what's being covered. So, right. and I just thought it was it was a perfect fit for my number one with the age and the means in which I acquired this it's series. One. It's a good so. one. Yeah, I love that show, man. Uh, that's so my number good. one. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, all right then. Uh, Koo, can you follow that one up with your number one? See, so I'm gonna have to do a 180 here, right? Okay. So huh? Let's let's start with a show that I found through I don't know what it was like. What I was like, what my mindset was like during this time. But I was watching yeah. YouTube, looking at anime clips, and it. This clip caught me where it's a baby, like uh, like uh, a young boy trying to deliver his his brother's lunchbox to him in the school. And it was like the most random shit. And I usually don't watch stuff like this, but it was the, the cutest damn thing I've ever seen. And I said, man, I have to watch the show. Right. And then lo and behold, the, the clip got me. I started watching the show and I finished the whole series. And every now and then, I would rewatch the show just, just for the for the cutesy moments, right? Mm-hmm. And the name of the show was called Gakuin Babysitters, so school babysitters. Oh, I think I've seen it's, clips it's of this, but I never seen yeah. the show. Yeah. So basically, the premise of the show is is this high school, this middle <laughs> school student has a young toddler baby brother. I think it's oh. like maybe three or four years old, mm-hmm. and uh, his parents they're like. Uh, they like to travel and stuff, but unfortunately, the last trip that they went on, the plane disappeared, so they never found them, and they become oh orphans, right? God. And it turns out that a principal, which is an old lady of a school, like, she lost her son in that plane crash as well, and, like, for some reason, she was drawn towards the two guys, mm-hmm. and then she adopts them, and then she, and then they go to her school, and since, you know, like, he has to work to, for his, like, food and, like, lodging, stuff like that, she makes him... Uh, the high school boy, uh, one of the babysitters in the uh, the babysitter club in this school, right? So this is, uh, I believe this is considered like a shoujo anime, and it's basically just like some guys watching a bunch of babies, and it's just like very cutesy slice of life stuff. I guess there's little like drama in it as well, dealing with the, the death of his parents, but I don't know why, but I, I love watching this show every now and then. It just makes you feel good inside and you know, you get a lot of cutesy moments. And you know, I usually would not admit to it that I would that I like watching the show, but you know, it the clip got me and I just I can't stop watching it every now and then. So hey man. Well I for one I'm glad you did because I'm looking at this and I'm definitely gonna have to check it out. I need <laughs> some so I, need, I need some cutesiness in my life. Dude, a little it's, it's such a wholesome anime, man. Such a wholesome anime. And based on my other list and how of a de- how much of a degenerate I am, <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that I enjoy stuff like this. But this is such a wholesome anime. I feel like if you ever feel down and you need a little bit of a pick me up, this is the one to 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 look at before you go to sleep at night. You know, so love it. Okay. Well, all right then. Uh, I will finish up with my number one. Uh, kind of like Evangelion, my number one is very popular. But if anybody tells you that this show is is uh, is good, they're lying to you. Uh, 
Oh, my number one, my, it's basically just like from like when I was a little kid, my number one I just picked is Dragon Ball Z and anything like really related with it. Uh, oh, I picked it because one, it's, I mean, it's, it's so much, it's just so much fun to watch. I don't take it serious at all. It's basically, you just, you watch it either for like the power ups, just ridiculousness. There's never any of that kind of like, even if they make like moments, like try to be intense, it's just not, it's, you're, you're watching it just for the, in a sense, like I can't eat the power ups, all that stuff. And I, from, I mean, it was, was it from when I was like running home from school to watch it? Uh, and then like to now, like realizing now it's just a trash show, <laughs> but it's just still, it's so much fun to watch. Ooh. Like, whether it's this, the super, the, was it super, like, was it Dragon Ball Super, the movies, the super Dragon Ball or Super Dragon Ball Heroes, like the card thing that's like 10 minutes, mm-hmm. like once a month? I still watch that shit too, and it's just fun. It's, I don't know, it's just fun. It's, I mean, it's, sir, I'm gonna have to put the same category as Johan's Evangelion, so the Evangelion's good, Dragon Ball Z is not good. Like it's 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 more of like where if I, if I can come and comment how you right now, there. I would definitely would. I See, would instant transmission over to your place. And like I I, I love Dragon Ball Super, but I would never say like it was a good show. It was just fun to watch. <laughs> it was Brian. just fun to watch. Uh, so that that's I don't know. That's my kind of uh, was a defense, I guess, for that for that number one pick. I think it's fair. Right, yeah, I fair. just remember Went back out with in the a day when everybody was trying to go Super Saiyan after they learned Goku could go Super yeah. Saiyan. I remember me and my buddies getting together <sighs> and just like yeah. screaming I mean... in the backyard, and my parents just being like, "What? What the hell is it?" Yeah. I mean, like, there's, what, there's, what do we do? There, there's a reason like, why that video, that guy trying to go Super Saiyan, went viral. Oh god, ten years ago. Oh right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I didn't pick DBZ, most likely I think my number one would would actually be with Justin with Golden Boy. Like that was just I I watched it like I actually didn't watch Golden Boy since like uh I watched it I think the first of 2015, 2016 I want to say twenty sixteen maybe. That was actually the first time right. I watched it and it was just hilarious. Like it was um and I, I didn't actually know who really have like seen the show, but then like later on after you watch it you just find out the cult following uh for that show but anybody else that's like outside of it who have seen it they, they'll just say it was just a trash show which i beg to differ i thought like yeah. everything about it was just hilarious <laughs> hilarious well done and really wish it was long it was like yeah. a more long run it was a longer running show right yeah. too few episodes for sure the manga. it finished in 98 but there's 104 chapters of it though so it was the decent it was a decent yeah. maybe content. that was Beside the point, we all love Golden Boy. I think yes, we could say yeah. that. Anyway, yeah, yeah, sorry. We kind of just <laughs> went over mine. We basically just went over Golden Boy again. Yeah. You all um, like... Surprised that you're, you didn't have Bar- Boruto in there for you, you Johan. I fucking oh, hate God. Boruto. <laughs> it's not your I mean, even though you still read it. I love it. Sasuke, but it's like... No, I, I mean, Respect. I just... Anyway, anyway, get this out. get down this rabbit hole. Take us out of here, sir. These are guilty pleasures. We're not, we're not talking about trash. Well, I think that was our list of five, of uh, you know guilty pleasures. Even though I, I think all of our lists were all over the place, we had some similar picks. Let, I mean, let us know if like one what your guilty pleasures are. If you agree, um, if any of our lists are just terrible, um, we kind of just had like our own mindset of guilty pleasures of what we just felt. I mean, as you can see, like we had basically a coup with like a, a coup with like a slice of life, basically Johan with his other one um and then <laughs> then basically then we have other ones where david trying to defend plot and uh yeah it was just then me trying to def- basically talk about dragon ball z as a, as a Sorry, let us know if we're degen at all or if there's a whole nother level that we are just completely oblivious to yes no, did no, we no, miss no, something out there, there def- we there haven't def- opened doors there definitely is yeah, i so. i don't i don't yeah. think we're at that i'm glad we're not at that, that level yet i intend to keep it that way yeah. for myself right. but, for myself at least I, i'm just curious you don't have to go in there. I just want to take a little peek and be like, okay, this exists. <laughs> one day. Thank yeah. you for letting me know. <laughs> yes. It's like, oh, yeah. what's the new we'll power up? Maybe one day. Yes. Yeah, okay. one day. But cool. anyway, that was it. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Awesome. Bye. Thanks for having us. <laughs> All right, <Bye>. shower. <laughs>
Oh, what were Guilty you? pleasures. Oh God, why can't I write that again? <laughs> guilty pleasures. Why can't I remember that? Okay. Take two. <clears throat> Three, nah, guilty two. pleasure for you, sir. 